it's Hermione and today's video is going to be about spring break. I am so excited because the weather seems to be picking up a little bit, the sun is shining sometimes, sometimes, and it's getting a little bit warmer, which means spring is on its way, in England anyway. <laughs> For this video I'm actually collabing with my friend on YouTube, her name is Olivia, her channel is Keep Up With Liv. She makes incredible videos and I'm so excited to collab with her, so I'm going to leave her channel down below and on screen so that you can go check her out because she is awesome. Her videos are perfect and her editing is on point, so you definitely have to go check her out. Click that subscribe button on her channel and if you haven't already, also click the subscribe button on mine. Hello, my name is Hermione, nice to have you here. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well if you like spring, spring break, DIYs, all of those things. And with all of that being said, I'm going to get straight into this video. So the first thing I'm going to show you for spring break that is an essential for me is a matte top coat nail polish and I'm going to show you how to make this. So as you can see this is what it looks like. I'm taking an old top coat polish and I'm creating a little funnel out of paper and adding some cornstarch. Try to make less of a mess than I did. I added about half a teaspoon worth, but I would add double that because I obviously didn't add enough, but I'll show you in a minute. So I'm just buffing out my nails and shining them before I put on a regular nail polish. I used this blue from Barry M and I did two coats of that and then I went in with my new top coat and once it was dry, you could definitely see that it was matte. I would recommend that you use two coats of this and I would definitely recommend adding in more cornstarch. But as you can see next to this thumb, the thumb is really shiny, yet the other fingers are much more matte. And here's another quick DIY to make some instant shimmer. I'm using a shimmer brick from Seventeen and I just scraped the top of this off and put it in a small container with some body lotion that I got from a hotel room. And I'm just mixing this up and this looks really nice on your legs or your arms. It's shimmery but not too shimmery that you're going to be glowing but it's really nice to wear if you're going to the pool or you're going to be in natural sunlight so you can just catch a little bit of the shimmer on your skin. My next essential for spring break is self tanner because I always feel most pale in spring once my tan has faded so these are some of my favourites. The Garnier Ombre Solaire Mist is the one I've used every single year but I like these ones too. The Saint Moritz one is pretty good because it's a cheaper alternative so I would recommend this if you're on a budget. And of course you can't go anywhere without your sunglasses. These are my new favourites, they're from some store on eBay, I love them so much. The next thing I'm going to show you is my Fujifilm camera. I love instant film cameras because there's something really nice about the way they develop instantly and you have something that you can hold in your hand. And this Fujifilm camera was actually $46 from Walmart last year so I know you can pick them up really cheap if you get this model. I totally recommend them because they're so much fun. If you're going anywhere don't forget to bring a book with you. These are my current favourites right now and the ones I'm reading that I totally recommend. And then here I have two outfits I'm going to show you. This first one is for if it's a little bit warmer where you are and you want to wear bare legs. I picked this dress up in a thrift store but it's originally from H&M. It's just so nice and flowy and I paired it with a cardigan in case it gets cold and just a long necklace. This is so casual but you can wear it to a lot of different places if you're going to the beach or not. I'm wearing some white converse and my hat which I got in a thrift store if you haven't seen my recent thrift haul. You should go check that out. And here's a slightly more realistic outfit for me because it's cold in England. I'm wearing a huge baggy jumper on top of a plain blue shirt from Primark. The jumper was from H&M and I'm wearing this long necklace also from H&M. And I'm wearing some purple jeans that are originally from Primark but I picked them up in a charity shop. I love this because it's incorporating a little bit of colour but it's not too bright. But still it's really warm if you live somewhere cold but you can take the jumper off and just have a nice plain shirt if you're getting a little bit warm. So it's a really nice spring outfit for me and this is what I would wear on an everyday basis. So that is all of my spring break essentials and DIYs for this video. Let me know if you like it in the comments down below and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. My social media will be down below as well as that subscribe button, just so you know. Let me know what your favourite thing is about spring and tell me down below what your essentials are for this spring break if you have one coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching, I will see you in my next video so have a great week and goodbye!